Oh, we're back. Hi. <laughs> Why, PG? And the husband up. How you going? We're two black sheep. We are? Well, you're in a cooking monster outfit, but we won't talk about that right now. I've got my onesie on. <laughs> anyway. Uh, um, bro, well, today. Today started off really bad for me. Um, yeah, I struggled really bad this morning. Had a bit of a meltdown today. Um, first thing this morning, while we're getting ready to go for a ride in the, in the hot rod up to a car show. Um, just everything's a bit much at the moment with what's been going on. And then, yeah, it was just, yeah, me had a, a dumb moment in my head and, yeah, I wasn't really happy. It's not dumb. It's just um, stuff comes to the surface. And you can't avoid it any longer. Yeah, true. <laughs> For both of us. Yeah, so yeah, I had my meltdown this morning, and uh, luckily I have wifey G, <laughs> who helps me through it. And um, so we sort of I pulled my socks up, and sort of we headed off and uh, did something for us today, so to speak, and went for riding the hot rod up to the Turi Brewery and um, play, uh, took part in a car show. So that was good, um, gave us something to do. And um, yeah, that's what it was all about today, but yeah, a bit of a, bit of a sad day in a way that I had my meltdown and it was pretty much to the, right to the bottom about what was going on for me and and for wifey G and for us as, as the two black sheep and everything's just yeah it was a bit much so um I think the outcome is um I don't know I think we're all going to have bad days you've just got to find somebody to lean on and rely on a wee bit and they'll say the right things and Hopefully they'll help people through um, their crisis and their crisis. Everybody's crisis are different for themselves. So um, yeah, mine was just didn't feel very good as a husband. Pretty much failed as far as I'm concerned. Failed as a provider and and just yeah as as a, a man I suppose. I didn't feel too much like a man this morning. So, um, you know, I'm trying to stay positive and, and my lovely wife is positive for me and that's really cool. <laughs> We're a team. Yeah, we are a team. And, um, but like you said before, when you talk to people, it's not actually about just having the right answers, it's just about listening and figuring out if, if you can help or if, if there is a solution there. Because we're both low this morning. Yeah, yeah, we were. And, um, and then both realised we were almost on the same page. Yeah. With, without telling each other. Yeah, the thing is we talk, talk all the time. Yeah. And um, we, we, we talk about everything at any time of the day. Sometimes it's two in the morning. Mm. Um, and it's, yeah, it's, it's just crazy how... At one point of the day, you come together and you realise you're both on the same page, and you, you know you're feeling the same. Your mind's going in the same direction, and the outcome is usually pretty shit. But the um, subject couldn't be avoided, and the topics couldn't be avoided, so it was just um, it was the tipping point for both of us. Just things with the bus have little things have now just gotten on top of us or what we feel like it had gotten on top of us so eh? yeah yeah we did and we had a bit of a yeah it's just everything we had to make a decision about um life and we would go to from here yeah. and um yeah it's right up until this morning like 7 a.m before i could make <sighs> A final decision on where we're going and what we're going to do, um, and that's how bad it was. Even I, d and there's only two points that it made me do that, and the main point was my lady. I 
and just she needs to be in her good space and um, spiritually she needs to do some things for herself so we had to address that as well um, and that's that's one area that hopefully we will fix in the next day and um, well it's on track to be fixed so you know, <laughs> hopefully but it will be fixed yeah and I've just got to refocus myself now and yeah I've got a few things to deal with in my head about what's going on for me and and our work life and home life and just how do we keep staying positive and that's the hard part every time you think you make headway someone comes along and goes hey bam kicks you in the ass <laughs> and then slaps you in the face so this bus has given us lots of curveballs and um it's not what we thought she was by looking at her and taking her for a test drive and hey on the surface, yeah, it's not. Yeah, uh, once you get past the first layer or two, it's not. It's yeah, think, not what it was, not what we thought it was. Yeah, things weren't. Yeah, you know, we took it for a test drive. We spent a couple of days climbing over it and checking everything out, and they all checked out. And I know it's one of those things. You, you start it up, go down the road, then all of a sudden, bang, something else happens. Yeah, you fix that problem, and then somebody else comes along. So. Um, I don't know. It's just one of those bad things, I suppose. And shit happens, and bad things happen sometimes. And it's just yeah. With ever since COVID came along, it has been a kick in the ass. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't help that we were beating ourselves up about it. Not each other, but we were beating ourselves up about the decision that we'd made to be in this bus. And that every little thing that was going wrong seemed a lot bigger because we just felt like we were, to me personally, I felt like I was being punished. Um, and then when you're already low, you can't see the solution. Or well, then when you do get it sorted and you turn the corner literally, <laughs> but you look in another direction and there's another problem. And it just constant this constant forward battle like I said in the other video it's just like walking in wet sand all the time you just get tired of it yeah yeah and you do we were both at the point where we were I don't know I don't actually know if I've got a lot of hair left to pull out but you just I don't know you just get it's almost like the loss for words too you don't really know what to say yeah uh, and I think that hopefully uh, this morning was the lowest point we'll hit. I'm um, not saying that we won't have our low days again. I think we'll have a number of those. But let's hope they're not as bad as today. Because mm. today was pretty bad for me. Um, yeah. And I'm still trying to deal with that in my head. And um, so. Uh, Two good things today. We'll go to a good story now. <laughs> We've had enough of the bad stuff. Um, yeah, so we spent the day on the hot rod and went up to the car show, so that was neat. And had a good run on that. And then we decided to go back, chuck everything back in storage and hopped in the bus and off we went. Did about 270 odd k's this afternoon and arrived in Napier on the foreshore. So hopefully by morning we might even be able to post a bit of a sunrise. The sea is right out that window. Yeah, so, yeah. Can hear it. Yeah, so it's pretty good virtually. Yeah, out the window, you can open the window and it, you'll see the waves crashing right, literally right there. Yeah. So, plan is in the morning to hopefully wake up to a sunrise and maybe that'll make us feel a wee bit better about ourselves. And yeah. listen to the waves tonight. So, with an extra blanket on, it's been a bit cold. Yeah, it got cold last <laughs> night. Bloody froze last night. And we woke up to even a frost this morning that was about minus three. So a frost on the inside of the window, excuse yeah, me. A bit of a frost on the inside. So anyway, that's sort of how our day's been. It's, yeah, for you guys, it's probably, um, hopefully it's not too much. But as we said, we're going to try and keep this video um, and, our, and our page honest. Yep. And um, we can't get any more than honest on what happened today. 
can't so. sugarcoat us. We can't really dress ourselves up. No. There's no disguising us. No, and from, and from being a mess this morning, I was a mess. And I don't think my lady's seen me be a mess. Not like that. So, um, I'm sorry to hear for that. <laughs> We're a team. And that's just, yeah. Unfortunately, it's life for us at the moment. Yep. And, um, yep. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, knock on the little bell and you'll get a reminder of our next video and and hopefully we'll get um, be into a few more uh, in the next few days. So, uh, peace out and we'll see you on the next one. See ya. Bye.